Alright, so now we're up here. Speak, traveler. Oh. What was that? What was that? Go ahead. Okay. Ah! I'm listening. I'm out of here. No, I, no, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna scoot out of here. Okay. <laughs> okay, no, let's do this quest. We gotta talk to uh, Riskar. And if you remember, we had a little note to Riskar, and it was the, the, the dagger, but anyway. Okay, anyway. You look like you could use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I could be your friend. I'd like to help you recover some gold. If you keep an eye on where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding that gold. Well, well, well. Let me back out of here. <laughs> okay. This, yeah, yeah, whatever. So, we're gonna go to the little lighthouse here, and we're gonna watch out for Fargoth. By the way, as I said before, just a little quick anecdote. You see how the fog is still in the game? I like to play this game without any graphical enhancements, just so the game slightly looks a little bit better. I don't like it when the game doesn't resemble Morrowind anymore. I like to keep it as vanilla as possible, you know? So, normally the, the, the fog in this game looks like this. Hang on, let me see if I can show it real quick. Like it's... Well, actually now I have a mod on, but it's very, very close. So it looks... Very nice. And we're gonna go up here. I'm gonna wait for a couple... Actually, before we do this... Let me see if I can steal some rice or something. Wait a minute, what? Ah! <laughs> I forgot that... What the fuck did I do with my silver candlestick? Hang on, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I sell it? I think I did. But, pfft, whatever, I don't mind. I think it might have burned up, in fact. Okay, anyway. How you doing, Thavir Vedrano? You're new to Sidonine, right? I'm Thavir Vedrano. I'm sure you have questions. Go ahead, I'll ask. I have plenty of time. How about goodbye? Oh, hang on. I'll do a little quick save here. See this? Grab him! <laughs> I want that lamp. Anyway, let's go up here. I can, however, steal this if I want. In effect, I think I'm gonna do that. Alright, The Wraith's Wedding Diary by Voltha Gra Yamwort. Translated, okay. The poets are right. There's something life changing about being in love, said Kip Diana Rod Minfang, sometime called the Wraith. I haven't wanted to rob anyone or anything in weeks. Why, the other day I saw the door wide open at a wealthy merchant's house, but my mind was fully occupied with what I should wear on my wedding day. You have been out of blah 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 blah. Thanks. Now, if you expect me to read every book in this game, you're you're wrong. Okay, I I do love reading in this game, but for the sake of the stream, I'm gonna condense a lot of the lore books that's of matter into condensed versions because otherwise we'd be streaming for fucking eight hours. Some of the more important books I'll read, like uh, certain books. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> but anyway, who's that guy? <laughs> oh shit! Here comes Fargoth. Boom pa boom pa boom pa do da da boom pa. Oh okay. Boom pa boom pa boom pa do da da. Yeah, let me mimic him. Da 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 da. Come on, Fargoth. Yeah, you can. Oh, I almost fell down. Jesus. The stealthiest man alive. Fargoth. <laughs> You know, I thought the whole point of, like, being sneaky was to, like, not be shown. Why the fuck would you carry a torch with you? Uh, whatever. 100 sneak. Look at me. There's not a lot going on in that brain. Now, this quest is a little interesting. Because, you know, when you're when you're actually um, completing quests in this, there's no XP like any of the other... Like, none of the Elder Scrolls has this, but... We can just steal all the money. And just keep it for ourselves, or we could give it to Riskar. Oh fuck, tree. What do you guys think? Should we be uh, a good boy and deliver a promise? Just yoink this out and just be done with it. You know what? Fuck it. Let's take it. We got the, the ring of healing, which belonged to you know Fargoth, but lockpick and three hundred gold. Okay. Yeah, you can stop what sneaking, by the what the fuck are you doing, Fargoth? Hey, before we go, actually, I probably should pack a sword here because I want to demonstrate the combat here in a little second. So, share your thoughts. Yes. Oh, well, I forgot I had grief on me. Hey, I have a bread here. Press it to you, my friend. Okay. So, 
We're gonna start packing up some shit on here before we venture out. To, uh, short sword. I guess some sword I want. There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate the bartering system here in a second because I, I failed at showing that off previously. But I'm also gonna get an iron shield here. As you can see, this costs 63 gold. Check this out. <laughs> now you can't push that too far. You can't push that too far. Uh, like they will downright just decline you eventually. But if you kind of mess around a little bit and just spam it, it'll be fine. Uh, I think I missed you guys saying this, but um, fuck is your problem? I'm talking. <laughs> the sound volume is okay, right? I'm waiting. Well, well, well. We're already on our little quest here. Anytime. Now the question is, should I take the Silt Strider or should I walk there? Because I kind of want to like immediately start smacking shit up, but there's a little bit of a walk to about more, about more is right over here. But uh, oh, let's walk. Fuck it. Let's let's be a cheapskate about it. This is basically the fast traveling of Morrowind because this game lacks it. Uh, so you're forced to use local transportation methods. And again, the Silt Strider is a giant hollowed out bug that is, uh, well, let me read it. Let me read the lore on this, why it's, why it's so crazy in my opinion. Check this out. And if I ask about the Silt Strider, here's where the disturbing part comes in. Check this out. <laughs> well, Silt Striders carry passengers and cargo between settlements and Vardenfell. Fares depend on distance and the travel. Okay, Silt Striders are giant insects. A compartment for passengers and cargo is hollowed from the creature's shell. The driver directs the beast by directly manipulating exposed organs and tissues. <coughs> Ow! Silt Striders travel between Aldruin, uh, Balmora, Sedanine, Sarai, Nice. So basically, they're just yanking a bunch of tonsils inside of it, and it goes left and right. <laughs> by the way, Morrowind might have one of the most and annoying, in my opinion, run animations. Like, even as a kid when I was playing, I'm like, what's wrong with the run? Like, <laughs> like it's the feet that disturb me. Like, look, 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 look. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, so annoying. Anyway, let me, let me, uh, let me show a little bit of a memory that goes on with Morrowind, right? So this is, is this a little mud crab friend. Some people hate the combat in this, but I don't mind it. Um, this is based on basically a d20 roll. Like, if you hit or not, it depends on your skill. For example, I have long blade. I am using a long blade, so this should be a piece of cake. See? I hit him. I've missed like two, three times, but because, you know, I'm not a master of combat yet. And again, some people, some people are like, why am I missing? And they don't understand that, you know, you really need the necessary skills to do it. Anyway, uh, there's a reason I'm going over here, <laughs> and I think I know. Well, you know why. <laughs> Let me show that again, real quick. Let me show that just real quick. He's one of my favorite characters. Now check this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get this in time. I have to really rush this, but there's a funny way of doing this. I go on. Oh god, I hope this works. Get ready. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Alright, anyway, this is one of my favorite char characters. This is Tariel. And Tariel has invented a giant... Well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll read it for you instead. Here's the journal of Tariel. Alright, here we go. I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I am developing. With it, I will be able to travel great distances without the need to pay uh, for all this for services. If all goes well, I will test out the new spell tomorrow. I believe I have worked out all the possible complications. It will allow me to leave great distances, covering many hundreds of miles. Never before has one been able to travel in this manner. Vaulting from the ground, sailing through the sky, all without that terrible disorientation of a spell of flying. The time is always upon me. My research is finished, and all of my calculations are checked uh, and reached. Checked. They laughed at me <laughs> when I suggested this. We'll see who laughs after I leap to the top of their towers and scream at my success. They all laughed. <laughs> oh, Dariel. Oh, he's got a spark sword in his face. not completely useless. All right, well, let me take his shoes, take his gold, and take his three scrolls of 
Icarian flight, I believe. Yes, that's what it's called. All right, so why this doesn't work, I'll demonstrate this real quick. This spell raises your acrobatic for a thousand points for five, for seven seconds. Let me put my hat on. Oh, okay, well. I'm gonna keep it like that. I, I love that. I love that. I look like a muscle Santa, all right? <laughs> anyway, um, let me demonstrate why this doesn't work. Uh, it's it's a genius concept. In fact, this is treated as a bit of a joke, because it's like, haha, he died. But there's actually a bit of a nefarious purpose for this, where you can actually abuse this. I'll get into that later, but for now, here's why this doesn't work. And go! Well, now I've... Motherfucker, I actually hit the water. Oh. Okay, you, you... Let me demonstrate that one more time. I actually... In, in, unintentionally show why it could work. Alright, here we go. I'm not hit the water this time, sorry. Accidental success. I guarantee that if you play this with the... Um, with the original, you would not, not see shit when you were doing it. Anyway, here we go. I'm dead. So the acrobatics is just lasting for a little bit, and then it just drops, you know. However, in this game, because there's a bit of a jankness to this game, and that's actually why I love it. If you hit the the side of a rock, you can kind of go weep. You, you remember when I did the San Andreas streams, and I got CJ to kind of like jump off Mount Chiliad, and he kind of hit like a, a bit of a slope, and he was fine. Same thing with this game. Same thing. It's like Half-Life physics. All right, now, I can't do a Morrowind stream with that. I'm the only human being on the planet that can fully recreate a, a Cliff Racers. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, Lord, they're coming. I will say that Morrowind has a beautiful, beautiful... I mean, that's ironic, because I'm in the, the Ash Mountain here. But just the way this game looks... It's so alien and so unique, you know. And I think a lot of people that played Oblivion afterwards were kind of disappointed how Lord of the Rings y it looked by comparison. Like, this game is full of mushrooms and swamps and little, you know, dragonflies illuminating stuff. It's a very vibrant looking game and it's it's really awesome. It's really, really awesome. And uh, this is how we did it back in the day. We had to read the signs for like, oh, this goes to uh, Narmuk, this goes to Aldrun, this goes to Seat. Like, you have to like, just... That's why uh, this game is immersive. You can't bullshit your way through it. You need to really read the fucking books, kill the rat, <laughs> and you need to just pay attention, you know? You can't be messing around too much. Anyway, I believe we are in... Uh, what is this camp called again? Uh, I can't really read it, can I? Oh, thank you. Thank you, $20. I appreciate that, man. Alright, but anyway. Um, now, if there's one more thing that I love about this game, it's the aesthetics of how the Dark Elves' culture look. Um, they have these sweet Lalu, Halalu armors. Just look at that. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Fucking badass. It's a ton of really cool looking stuff in this game. Um, I don't know if I should be talking about the story already or I should talk about... Because I know all the story and what happens to everything in this, but... Uh, there's a lot of new people that have never watched Morrowind or don't know about what's going on. So I'm going to keep it... Uh, but I'm going to ask you guys, do, do you want me to start talking about... What what all this uh, you know goes towards or... No spoilers, alright. Alright, I'll keep it... For now, we are just a little prisoner that got off a ship. We talked to some dickhead in an office and said, Hey, go to Balmore, I got a package. Talk to him. Anyway, yeah, but once again, I love the look of this, because you got the little blue gray. Like, like, oh man, it's just a gorgeous looking game, and the sky and everything. And I think the closest uh, thing that Oblivion got to this was with the, the Shivering Isles, you know? Very similar in a way, but uh, quite different at the same time. But uh, yeah, as you might have noticed, uh, the, uh, there's... Oh. 
Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes now. Here it comes. Can I hit this fucking- Thanks. <laughs> Most difficult fight yet of- of, uh, Cobb Sale's life. <laughs> Alright, as I was gonna say, uh, you might have noticed that down at the bottom left, you got the whole stamina, magicka, and health thing. Um, at times I feel stamina in this game. Um, I'm always out of stamina when I'm playing, even though it's a high-level high, high level character, because I'm always running, which takes away stamina, which I hate. It's like Diablo 2. I wish they didn't wasn't like that, but you know. But uh, yeah, you you need you need uh, stamina and stuff. Like if if your stamina is low, you're going to be missing a lot, and you also need the luck stat um, for hitting a lot of times. So anyway, uh, oh yeah, by the way, this as I said, there's, there's no level scaling. So you have these giant uh, dinosaurs that are roaming around, and if I go uh, and I want to like pet them and give them apples, I will die. So, uh, let me... Backtrack. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's get into Bamora here. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. 